Good afternoon. I'm Zora Bender from Mount Olive Missionary Baptist Church, where Reverend Charles K. Bender is my pastor, and we're here again for another lesson. So let's start off with prayer, please. Dear Heavenly Father, we come this evening, Lord, thanking you, God, for your strength and power. Yes, I invite you in to help me teach this lesson. In the name of Jesus, amen. amen. For scripture, we're doing 1 Corinthians 15, verse 58. That's 1 Corinthians 15, 58. Stand firm, then, my dear fellow Christians, and let nothing move you. Always keep on doing a great work for the Lord, since you know in the Lord your hard work isn't wasted. Nothing is useless. Everything is valuable. That's what I'm talking about today. Nothing is useless. Everything is valuable. When we serve the Lord, no job or act of love is too menial or useless. In Christ, everything we do has a purpose. Even when I feel weak or helpless, I know God is powerful and can strengthen me. When I feel anxious, I turn to God for peace. So, what I'm going to tell you is, don't hide your valuables. You have too many to use. Rather than hide them, say or do them, no matter how small they seem. You know how we are. If we can't say big words and dress a certain way and be with a certain crowd, we think what we say is not meaningful. But I'm here today to tell you that it means a lot. Here are some things people don't realize how important they are. Just a smile can help somebody along the way. A word of encouragement. Just tell them, you can do it. Don't worry. A prayer or a display of faith during our trials will help somebody. Words of thanks. Just be grateful and say thank you. You don't know how far that go. It can help others as well as for yourself. God will fulfill his purpose through us if we listen to him. You are never, you are never too old to be useful. Let's look at Sarah in Genesis 18 verse 11. Sarah asked the Lord for a son in her young age, but God made her wait till she was way up in age before she he granted her a son. So never use age as an excuse. What really matters is being a spokesman or a servant for God. So spread the good news. Don't feel like your words don't matter. Let me give you a few other words that you can say. And you try them and see don't it make people smile or make them feel better. You can always say, I love you. Don't cost you a thing. You can make it a good morning, a very good morning, but just smiling and saying, good morning, yeah. instead of ignoring people and walking by them. You can even say, how are you feeling today? Or if someone gives you some, just say thank you. That matters. That makes a big difference. I think we've gotten away with speaking because we're afraid of people. We're taught, don't talk to strangers. But a smile, a good morning, how are you, hello, don't hurt anybody. So let's look at Luke 21, 1 through 4. I want you to read it later. Mark 12, 41 through 44. It talk about a widow. A widow's might. She gave two mites in that scripture. Nothing is useless. The other people were given big money because they were rich. And she was a poor lady. 
At least that's what we say. Mm -hmm. She gave two mites. And the Lord said of all the giving, she gave more than anybody gave. And I want you to know a mite is half a farthing or a fifth of a cent. And the Lord said she gave more than anybody because she gave all she had. And all it was worth was one half cent. So nothing is useless. So use what God gave you. Don't forget your time, your talent, your treasures. Treat them like diamonds or gold. They are just as valuable when used for God. You don't have to have a lot of money. Just use what God gave you. And in my conclusion, I want you to look at these scriptures right quick, and I'm going to be through. God sees and hears every word you say, no matter how small, how short, or how meaningless we think they are. Yeah. Psalms 34 verse 15 says, The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are open to their cry. Proverbs 10 31a says, The mouth of the righteous brings forth wisdom. And Proverbs 10, 32a says, the lips of the righteous know what is acceptable. Mm -hmm. So please use what God gave you and use your words wisely. Thank you.